military weapons. Welcome back and thanks for watching. Be sure that you're subscribed for more videos like this one in the future. Today we're talking about the AN SEQ-3 Laser Weapon System, or XN-1 Laws. It's a directed energy weapon that was developed by the United States Navy and was installed on the USS Ponds for field testing in 2014. In December of 2014, the United States Navy reported that the law system worked perfectly against low-end asymmetric threats. Among the advantages of this device versus projectile weaponry is the low cost per shot, as each fire Firing of the weapon requires only the minimal cost of generating an energetic pulse. By contrast, ordnance for the projectile weapons must be designed, manufactured, handled, and transported and maintained, taking up massive storage space. Of its purpose, the LAWS is a ship defense system that has so far publicly engaged an unmanned aerial vehicle and a simulated small boat tracker. LAWS uses an infrared beam from a solid-state laser array, which can then be tuned to high output in order to destroy the target or low output to warn or cripple the sensors of a target. The LAWS is designed to be used against low-end asymmetric threats. Its scalable power level shows it to be used on lower power to dazzle a person's eye to non-lethally make them turn away from any threatening posture, and increase the 30 kilowatts to fry sensors, burn out motors, and detonate explosive material. Against a vital point on small UAVs, one shot can down in as little as two seconds. When facing small boats, the laser would target a craft's motor to disable it and make it dead in the water, then repeating this against others in rapid succession, requiring only a few seconds of firing per boat. Targeting the platform is more effective than individual crew members, although the laws is accurate enough to target explosive rockets if on board, whose detonations could kill its operators. Against a large aircraft like a helicopter, the laws can burn through some vital components to cause it to fall and crash. The laws was to be installed on the USS Ponce in the summer of 2014 for a 12-month trial deployment. The Navy spent about $40 million over the past six years on its research, development, and testing of the laser weapon. It will be directed to targets by the Phalanx CIWS radar, and if testing goes well, the Navy could deploy a laser weapon operationally between 2017 and 2021, with an effective range of 1.6 kilometers. As of now, the exact level of power that the laws will use is unknown, but it's estimated to be between 15 to 50 kilowatts for engaging small aircraft and high-speed boats. The LAWS has benefited from commercial laser developments, with the system basically being six welding lasers strapped together that although they don't become a single beam, all converge on the target at the same time. It generates 33 kilowatts in testing with follow-on deployable weapons that generate 60 to 100 kilowatts mounted on a literal combat ship or Arleigh Burke class destroyer to destroy fast attack boats, drones, manned aircraft, and anti-ship cruise missiles out to a few miles. In the short term, the LAWS will act as a short-range self-defense system against drones and boats, while more powerful lasers in the future should have enough power to destroy anti-ship missiles. Navy slab lasers have been tested at 105 kilowatts, with increases to 300 kilowatts planned. Laser weapons like the LAWS are meant to be a component of other missile and gun-based defense systems rather than to replace them. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you get more videos like this one in the future. Also, like this video and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.